Welcome to the garden. Today I want to share with you a fact about spinach that they have male and female plants. Only the females produce these seeds. The male plants look like this. They produce these little flowers. But they are still important for the pollination of the female plants. The seeds on the female plant grow on the base of the leaves right here at the stem and the seeds grow in these little clusters. So once they're dry, they actually have to be broken apart. But you can see they produce leaves all the way up the stem, right up to the top. But the male plant just produces these pollinating flowers. The female plants are still really nice and dark green, and the males are a little bit more of a pale yellow. These do produce little flowers, like little stars. They're actually kind of interesting. You can see some here along the stem. Both plants produce really nice, healthy leaves when they're younger, but only the females continue to produce leaves as they flower. And these leaves are still edible. Still tastes just like spinach, nice and tender. Just looking around the garden, I'd say maybe one in five plants are male. Might even be closer to one in 10. In the entire garden, we only had four male plants this year, and that's plenty to pollinate all our female plants. Spinach is a really low growing plant until it flowers. Then it can get over three feet tall. These stems are hollow and really lightweight. They're actually fairly sturdy. Here's one of our male plants. So we can see the entire structure. They do still have some leaves, but they're very thin. So when saving the seeds, we're just gonna be harvesting the female plants. Spinach is an annual plant, so it's not gonna come back next year unless we plant new seeds. I'll probably plant about half in the autumn, and the other half we'll save for next spring. It looks like a lot of these seed clusters have six seeds per cluster. Some can have less, and some can have quite a bit more. Look at all these ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine or possibly even 10 seeds in that one. We can wait to harvest these until the seeds are dry on the plant. Or we can pick the plant while it's still green. And as long as those seeds are fully mature, they'll dry up just fine. So I'm just going to uproot this spinach plant. It has a whole bunch of seeds on it. And I'm just gonna dry this outdoors under some shelter so it doesn't get wet. Look at that tiny little root system. It's just amazing. Some people suggest to hang them upside down to dry, but I don't think that really matters. I'm gonna try harvesting as many leaves as I can off of this plant. It's not gonna affect the seeds at all. These are all just gonna wilt anyways. Most of them are pretty small, but we got some decent sized leaves. That would actually make a decent little salad or a side dish of cooked spinach. Or we could save it for tomorrow morning and do our molten lava scrambled eggs. And it's not too bad for just the extra leaves on our spinach seeds. Look at all of those seeds. That is amazing. And that's just one plant. I really love the process of growing your own plants in the garden, saving your own seeds, and then growing your own plants from your own seeds. <laughs> I decided I'd make a little sandwich. So I'm gonna pick some chives in the back here and just shred them up by hand. Spinach and chives is really one of my favorite vegetable combinations. It's so versatile, you could just use it on anything.
and I found this to be really interesting. So if you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments or with a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.